On behalf of the International Breast Cancer Study Group and investigators worldwide, I'm pleased to present the joint analysis of text and soft. When treating premenopausal women with hormone receptor positive breast cancer, the optimal adjuvant endocrine therapy is still uncertain. Tamoxifen for at least five years is a standard treatment. Ovarian suppression, which means stopping the ovaries from producing estrogen, may be added. And in Europe, we use ovarian suppression more frequently than in the US. For postmenopausal women, over the past 15 years, clinical trials have shown that adjuvant aromatase inhibitors for five years are more effective than five years of tamoxifen. This treatment was not available to premenopausal women because aromatase inhibitors require low estrogen levels that occur after the menopause. And this can be achieved in young women with ovarian suppression. So IBCSG designed text and soft to determine whether adjuvant therapy with the aromatase inhibitor exemestane improves outcomes over tamoxifen in premenopausal women treated with ovarian suppression. In text, 2,672 women who received ovarian suppression from the start of, ad of adjuvant therapy were randomized to either five years of tamoxifen or exemestane. SOFT was designed to evaluate five years of tamoxifen alone versus tamoxifen plus ovarian suppression versus exemestane plus ovarian suppression in women who did not receive chemotherapy or remained premenopausal after completion of chemotherapy. And 3,066 women were randomized. Women could receive adjuvant chem chemotherapy in both trials as agreed with their doctor. Today, we present the results of the joint analysis of text and soft comparing tamoxifen plus OFS versus exemestane plus OFS after 5.7 years median follow-up in 4,690 women. We will not talk about the tamoxifen alone harm. The average age was 43 years, 42% of women had tumor in their axillary nodes, 36% had tumors larger than two centimeters, and 57% received chemotherapy. And now the results. Our study demonstrates that adjuvant therapy with exemestane plus ovarian suppression significantly reduces the risk of recurrence versus tamoxifen plus ovarian suppression. In the left panel, the disease-free survival, you can see a 28% relative reduction in risk of subsequent cancer. And this reflects reductions of recurrence in the breast, regional nodes, and opposite breast, which although being potentially curable, require new treatment which affects patients' well-being. It also reflects reductions in distant recurrences, which, was not, which are not curable, and also includes second non-breast cancer. However, 60% of first disease-free survival events were distant recurrences. And when specifically focusing on breast cancer recurrence within five years, the middle panel, a 34% reduction was achieved. Overall, more than 96% of women are alive at five years. There is currently no significant difference in survival between the treatment groups, but conclusions about survival are premature at this early point in follow-up. Almost 2,000 women, 43%, did not receive chemotherapy, including some women who had positive nodes and tumors larger than two centimeters, traditionally considered higher risk features of disease relapse. Among these women, more than 97% remain free from breast cancer at five years when treated with exemestane plus ovarian suppression and more than 98% were alive at five years. In our opinion, these results clearly indicate that some premenopausal women with hormone receptor positive breast cancer may have excellent prognosis when treated with five years of highly effective adjuvant endocrine therapy 
without chemotherapy. In conclusion, examestane plus ovarian suppression is a new adjuvant treatment option that significantly reduces the risk of breast cancer recurrence in premenopausal women with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. The study provides strong evidence to adopt this new treatment approach, in particular for those of us who routinely use ovarian suppression. But we need also to consider tolerability. In our study, side effects of examestin plus ovarian suppression were similar to those seen in postmenopausal women, joint and muscle pain, decline in bone mineral density, and menopausal symptoms. We also observed that frequency of severe side effects was similar between the two treatments, and self-reported quality of life overall did not favor either treatment. Of note, compliance was very good. Only 14% completely stopped treatment during the five years. Finally, follow-up continues to assess long-term prognosis and side effects. Thank you.